here's a trick that you can use to get some very interesting sounds simply by alternating major and minor, major and minor thirds. So I'm tuned E, B, E. And I'm going to be using open strings to pull off everything to the open strings. So whatever key you're tuned to here, this will be like the key that you're in. So I'm going to start off here on the second fret on the top string. And the very first one I'm going to go up is a minor third. So a minor third is a whole step and a half step. Whole step, half step. So I'm jumping from this note here, the second fret, up to the fifth fret, which is a minor third. So my first step is a minor third jump. The next one is a major third. So I'm going to start off here and go up a major third, which is two whole steps. One, two, two whole steps. So major third. And then from there, minor third. And then from there, major third. And from there, minor third, so to speak. So you're just alternating. Minor third, major third, minor third, major third. So instead of just going up on one string, which you certainly can do, we're going to go across the strings here. So instead of going to this note here, I'm going to go to this note here, which is the same note. So minor third, major third. So instead of going to this note, I'm going to catch this note here. And then minor third again, major third, minor third, major third. So you put them all together, again, pulling them off to the open. This is the way it's going to sound. tell you. So this is basically the circle of fifths. Um, because a major third and a minor third is a perfect fifth, and also a minor third and a major third is a perfect fifth. So you're, either way you're looking at it, it's perfect fifths, but this is just an interesting sound simply by alternating major third, minor third, major third, minor third, or minor third, major third, minor third, major third. And you can play around with different places. I just happen to like that sound here starting off on this note here if this is my key that I'm focusing on. run out of things to play, you can try this. We're going to start off by doing a down stroke with our thumb, all strings, and we're going to hammer with our index finger, third fret, and then we're going to hammer with our ring finger on the fourth fret high string. So this is the first. And then we're going to tap with our index finger on the middle string, ninth fret. And then we're going to pull off. And then we're going to repeat the down stroke with our thumb. Repeat the hammers. And this time we're going to tap with maybe our uh, middle finger on the tenth fret, high string. So the first time we tapped with our index finger on the ninth fret, middle string, and now we're going to tap with our middle finger on the tenth fret high string, so we're gonna you're gonna tap first, and then, and each time after we tap, then we're gonna pull off, and then repeat. So this is the way it's gonna sound slow. Put it together, it gets sounds like this. You can actually tap with your index finger on both of them if you want. You don't have to switch to the middle finger if you don't like. But the kick, the, the trick is to getting that thumb to uh, be quick about the downstroke here. As soon as you pull it off, then your thumb right off the bat starts coming down again.
Then once you get good at that, then you can start moving this guy around here and start moving this guy around. So a few videos back, I was goofing around with uh, this um, People Get Ready song. And um, a couple of you guys asked for a lesson on how to do that. So I'm finally getting around to it. Uh, let me play it through one time and then we'll break it down. So that's just kind of like a uh, ragtag, goofy way of, of playing it. Uh, it's basically the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. And you can do uh, any, any kind of embellishments that you like. It's, it's mainly just kind of keeping that groove going and keeping the melody going. So, this, so basically I'm going to do four different licks. The first one is starting off with my index finger here on the major third, which is on the fourth fret here. So it's like... And then I'm going to jump to this chord here. This is 4th um, fret, 5th fret. And then from this note here, it's going to go down to that. So People get ready. And then I give it a, I give it a, little, a little smack to get that percussion sound. And then I'm gonna go, that's just the uh, fourth fret or the fifth fret, but it's the fourth chord. And then, so that's the first phrase. That's the first phrase. The second phrase goes like this. So that's like kind of similar to the first phrase, but you're doing it a little bit differently. That's good. Here's the second phrase. And I just go twice here. Bam, bam, bam. Open. And then I can you can do like a little hammer on. Or you don't have to do that, but that's just kind of a way to keep it going. Now the third phrase, again, this is open to interpretation, and you can do whatever you want here, but this is what I do. And, or you can go, we well, can do whatever you want. And then I'm gonna grab, I grab this chord here, which is again, it's the same as this chord here, but I put this note here down here and it looks like this. Which brings us to the last phrase which is different than all of the other ones. The, the fourth one has got a different chord. You're gonna go like this. This is the fourth phrase. And it's a minor chord. And then, bam, bam, bam. So I'll put it all together. And this is the way it sounds. So if you like these videos and you're enjoying this channel, then you are a cigar box guitar enthusiast. All right, so be sure to hit that subscribe button, leave a comment. Don't forget there is a, a Patreon link in the upper um, right-hand corner of my YouTube banner. Thanks for watching, guys. Seriously, and um, thank you for your support. And I will see you in the next video.
Cheers.